Hi everyone, this is Terry. I had a request asked me to show how to create a key fob on the Luminaire. So here's a quick video to show you how to do that. You can save multiple stitch lines, but if you save one and you're using a method like you're using cork and you're trimming around the outside edge or you're using a digital cutter, there really isn't a need to have more than one stitch line. And I'll explain that in a moment. What we'll do is choose add choose category four, select the shape you want. I'll choose the, let's choose a square for this one. I've selected several and created several different designs. I'll choose set. The next thing I need to do is choose add. I'll choose the shape number 10 and number 10 again, choose set. The thing you need to think about when you're creating these is the size of your snap. So you need to have it wide enough to accommodate the snap, but you also need to measure your ring and know what the, the width of that ring is so that the strap will fit into the ring. Now what we'll do, is, and that is assuming you're using a ring. If you're not using a ring and you're attaching it to something else, you need to take a measurement of that as well such as a luggage strap. We'll go to size. Actually, I duplicated in error. Let me choose delete and choose okay. We'll go to size and I'll reduce the overall width. And you can see the width right here up above. Right now, this is one inch. Now I need to have it large enough for my snap. I'll, I'll leave it at about three quarters of an inch. And then I also need to consider how much I'm going to have as the amount of excess fabric when I trim it. So I'll move it to 0.75 and we'll make it a little bit larger. And now you need to determine the length. Uh, right now I'll just leave this at three inches or three, three and a half inches. We'll stretch it out just a little bit and just move it up. All right, right now you'll see that in this formation, this will fit in the nine and a half by nine and a half. I'll choose okay. You want to group it together because when you go to create a stamp, if you have it on the singular design, you end up with the stamp and I'll just show you for just that piece. So choose cancel, go back and group it together and choose okay, create your stamp you don't need to have a distance or an outline for this. And if you are cutting this on a cutting machine, you can, on your cutting machine, you can create an offset to it. That'll give you additional fabric if you need it. We'll choose memory to save it in memory and choose okay. You no longer need these outlines. So deselect the grouping, delete the shapes, and leave your letter if you want to use it. Choose add, go to my design center, recall your stamp, and let's see, we'll go to the stamp, choose the shape, choose okay. And here you have the shape of your overall design. Go into the stitches, select the double run. I wish brother would add a single run for us and hopefully one of them is watching our videos. So we'll choose okay, take the bucket, and let's just apply it. And now we have the overall stitches on this. We'll go to next. Let's go back into, inch, uh, excuse me, millimeters. It's easier for me to look at stitches in millimeters. And I want this to be like a top stitch so I'll increase this to three millimeters and choose okay. Let's choose to save it to memory because if you need to come back and edit this, this is what you need to do. Once you create this shape and if you stitch it out, just even on a piece of stabilizer and cut around it, see if it fits, first of all, your snap, see if it'll fit on your D ring or whatever you're using, then you can really use your material. We'll see, choose set and choose okay. All right, 
So here's what you're going to do. If you decide you want to rotate your letter, all you have to do is select your letter and let's go to edit and we can go to rotate. You could rotate this 90 degrees if you like that appearance and choose okay. Now that you have this stitch, you can use it for several things. It can be your placement st stitch on your stabilizer to adhere your fabric on if you're using something like cork to the front and the back. And uh, when you uh, apply it to the back, you'll stitch out your placement stitch. That shows you where to place your fabric and how large it needs to be. And then you take your a rectangle of fabric that's larger you place it over the the top of the placement line on the front flip your hoop over and place it on the back now I like to use glue sticks and use some Kimbered Bell tape or painters tape to hold everything in place both on the top and bottom because if you just lay it on the top and flip it over it's going to fall off all right, now that you have all your fabric in place, you put it back in the hoop and you stitch this stitch out again. And you can also stitch out your, your initial. One of the things you may want to do is to delete the initial from this design and save this to memory. So once you do that and you save it to memory or on your USB stick, you can always pull this up and recreate it again. And if you take it and move it down, you may find that it will fit in your five by seven hoop. I hope this helps the person that asked the question. Thanks everyone and have a good day. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe and share. And then also consider joining us in the Facebook group, just stitching with the Brother Luminaire. Your time is valuable. I do appreciate you watching my videos. Thanks, everyone.